Hi, my name is Sally Shields, and I'm one of the personal marketing assistants for Outskirts Press. For this enhanced audio excerpt, I am reading on behalf of author Tatarum Muratis for his published book, The Rise of the Phoenix. On February 25, 1998, I left Kayla and Ariel in New Orleans in our new home with our friends and relatives to attend the U.S. Army Recruiter School at Fort Jackson, South Carolina. This assignment would be different up front because I knew before I left New Orleans that I was going to Los Angeles Recruiting Battalion as a Reserve Army Recruiter on active duty. The school was six weeks long and it was said that only the top 10% in the Army of Army personnel get to be recruiters as the tough entrance requirements dictate. The recruiter school was as tough as a school as I had heard, but the physical training that was required to make it through the recruiter school was a real stress reliever. By the time six weeks had passed, I graduated the recruiter school, was in excellent physical condition, and was on my way back to New Orleans to see Kayla and Ariel before I went on to Los Angeles to report to recruiting duty. The time apart really had Kayla and me wound up tight, as it was hard being apart after we had bonded so well after I had left the 109th Medical Detachment in the high op tempo there. Little would we both know that after I got home nine months later on December 30th, 1998 at 3.03 p.m. in the afternoon, we would bring our second child into the world right there in New Orleans. Masson Sabrina Williams was born in Meadowcrest Hospital on the West Bank of New Orleans, 7 pounds, 7.8 ounces at birth to happy and extremely pleased parents and one sister, 10 years old, Ariel Shawnee Williams. I considered Masson a native Louisianian, despite the nativity of her parents. She was as much a joy as Ariel when she was born, and as much a special gift as she was. She was a military brat who was born as a military child, just like her sister. Unlike Ariel, she wasn't born on a military base. She was born at a civilian institution, but it was all paid for by military health insurance. When Masson was taken home for the first time, she wasn't taken into military housing. She was taken to her own home, and that's where she began her young life. My children never attended military schools when they progressed through elementary and grade school. Instead, they attended the local public schools within the school district where we lived. I felt that was important for exposure to something else other than military life, and they both adapted very well. Ariel had began school in Los Angeles, and Masson later began school in Pensacola, Florida, both at the age of five. As it would turn out, recruiting in this area of the country was for the elite, and it was a very stressful job to be in. It was demanding and time-consuming, and the level of motivation and dedication that was required to do the job was extremely high, no matter how it looks when you're out driving your car and you see a military recruiter driving his or her government vehicle, they are under extreme stress to make a mission month in and month out. I was happy that Kayla and the kids were home secure and settled down in New Orleans while I pulled this duty in Los Angeles. However, Kayla didn't see it that way, as she said she was tired of New Orleans and I couldn't understand why. With us both gainfully employed and making such a nice amount of money when compared to the local economy there in Louisiana, I couldn't see any reason why Kayla was unhappy, and the kids did not show any signs of happiness, but she was. So I decided to sell the house, and Kayla and the kids joined me in Los Angeles. For 12 months, me, Kayla, and the kids together in Los Angeles until Kayla decided that she was leaving me. I can only assume that I was the source of her unhappiness. The date was June 2000, and after 14 years of marriage, Kayla called us. I said this to her, this is not the time to be leaving because I've made it now. However, eight months later, I found myself once again activated to go back into the active army to Operation Iraq Freedom. And unlike Operation Desert Storm, this time I was going into Baghdad for sure. Tatarum Muratis, whose real name is David Williams, writer and author from the San Francisco Bay Area. He is an alum from Excelsior College in upstate New York and is currently enrolled as MSM graduate student in the University of Maryland Graduate School System at Adelphi, Maryland. He recently capped a satisfying 23-year career in the United States Army where he served in four contingency operations, which included both combative and non-combative operations. His autobiographical self-written book, The Rise of the Phoenix, is a transpiration of many of the events that comprises, comprises his life series. The Rise of the Phoenix can be found online at Amazon.com and BarnesandNoble.com. You can also find out about other books written by Mr. Muratis by visiting the author at www.tatarummuratis.com.